I think it's important to celebrate history, period. Um, we have a tendency as humans to be aggrieved because others were aggrieved. And that's not necessarily our experience. Um, I'll say my ancestors have done nothing to shame me. They are the jet fuel for my, my current ambitions. I, I want to honor them. I want to have a good story when I meet them in Valhalla. I don't want them to say, hey, I was upset because you were upset. No, 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 that's, that's not good enough. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the parable uh, of the uh, servants. It's from the Old Testament. And I'll, I'll say it very briefly here, my abbreviated version. Hopefully my reverend father will forgive me. But uh, uh, there is a, a master with, with two servants. And he says, I'm, I'm going away and I'm going to prepare a place for you. And um, before I go, I'm going to give one servant five talents and one servant three talents. And then a third servant one talent based on their skill level, if you will. Well, the master goes away. The servant with five talents used the markets to double his talent. So now he had 10, okay? The servant with, with three talents used uh, other means to double his talent, bought some land, and now he had six. But the one that was given one just buried it in the ground and returned the one to his master when he came back. And the master was very upset and cast him out of his kingdom. Um, I can't let that be my narrative. I don't want to be around people that think that's okay to bury themselves and engage in this ostrich-like behavior, but we have all these issues in the world that are solvable. And so this is a community that I think best exemplifies FOTD. We're trying to double what we've been given, um, not just for ourselves, but for future generations. And you'll find that ethos pretty common, whether you're talking to a Brazilian attendee or a Colombian attendee, or someone from New York or New Jersey or, or DC or Atlanta, we are all trying to make something happen. So imagine being in the room with 350 hustlers, hustlers for the good now, we're not doing criminal activity, but hustlers for the good, um, it's an amazing experience and that's what keeps me energized.